Tompkins. I would like to demonstrate to you today how to use the pop-up board in the long jump. This is one of the boards that I designed, which is a long jump pop-up board that I call it. Some people probably call them lift boards, but this is it. It's really a simple little board that allows an athlete to work on his lift, the drive, and technique in, the, in flight during the long jump, and the landing, particularly the extension phase uh, prior to landing itself. And this is the board that I will demonstrate some of the techniques for you today. Okay. One of the safety issues I like to indicate to you first is that the board should not be used on a slick or wet surface. Particularly the surface that we have here today is, uh, is, is ideal for this because it will prevent the board from sliding and slipping. One of the things that athletes have a common use of doing is planting on the edge of the board. And, this, and the process of going over or overextending on the board would cause the board to flip. This is a safety issue. So what you need to teach your athletes to do is plant here, in this angle right here. And this is the driving phase. In the actual long jump itself, the athlete will come down running and his last step, there is a dip, then he drives up off the board. What this board allows you to do is to simulate that dipping process by driving up off the board. This is the motion that you will use. The ankle will lift you up. so that athletes will be able to lift off the board and work on their technique in flight. The board is not designed so that you can lift off of it and jump and try to go for distance. It's not designed for that. It's for technique. So when the athlete plants on the board, he should concentrate on going up, not trying to go out into the pit and land for distance. It's not about that. What I would like to do now at this time is demonstrate some of the series and the phases that an athlete should work on. We're gonna work on number one, the lift itself, the flight, the hang, and the land. Try to jump into the pit. There you go. There you go. You got this bring it on. My name is Jesse Tompkins. I'm a 1985 graduate of the U.S. Sports Academy in Daphne, Alabama. Uh, I graduated from Murphy High School in 1979. I was a long jumper and intermediate hurdler. At one point, I led the nation during the preseason in the 400 intermediate hurdles. In college, I also ranked nationally in the 400 hurdles and long Part of my long jump training, I used the long jump pop-up board to develop my in-flight technique. I worked on my lift, flight, the landing when using the long jump board. So when using the board, there were several things that I indicated that you needed to be aware of. Number one, do not allow the athlete to plant on the top of the board because that could cause the board to slip. By placing the foot here, it could cause the board to slip. In addition to that, do not put the board on wet surfaces or any surface that, is, that can cause the board to move itself. It should be on a firm, non-movable surface so that the athlete is able to plant and drive up off the board to work on the lift, the flight, and the extension is extension when completing the landing. Yeah, several uh, athletes, uh, Anthony Carter, who was a 26, 27 foot long jumper in college, he jumped 24, 25 in high school. Uh, he went on to, for about a period of four or five years, he ranked nationally. And this is one of the boards that was a part of his training also. One of the other athletes, uh, with Fred Fry. He was an All-American and he led the nation in 1978 in the, in the long jump. Now, ironically, Carl Lewis was one of the individuals that he beat out that year in the indoor long jump. Uh, probably, probably the person that we're most familiar with is Eric Walder from Arkansas. He was a 25-foot long jump in high school in addition to jumping 28-foot in the long jump. 
So he has a pretty good history in, in, in the long jump competition. And this board here was used as part of our training at Murphy High School. We had uh, Nalina Lofton, uh, a female who jumped 19-3. And these boards contributed to us working on our technique and improving our long jump skills.